So we get a lot of questions when it comes to properly storing the Megaflora. Mm. You're going to notice on the top of the bottle, it does say keep refrigerated. So a common follow-up is when people do actually receive this back at their house, they're going to call us and wonder, is it okay actually that it actually has been outside of refrigeration during that transportation, even in the hot summer months? Mm -hmm. So whether they purchased it online at megafood.com or from their retailer, or even just picked it up in the store and are maybe running some errands before they get home, we have people who are concerned about that heat for sure. And we've taken a few steps and a few precautions so that you don't have to worry about it at all. We've done all the worrying for you. And so some of the things that we've done is ensured that we've first of all, chosen incredibly hardy strains. So the 14 strains that comprise this blend are known for their stability. They're going to survive the stomach acids. They're going to be resilient to some temperature fluctuations, but we do recommend refrigeration throughout their shelf life to give them the best possible chance. So there is gonna be several ways that we ensure this arrives to you with that proper efficacy. Mm -hmm. How would we do that, Abigail? So in addition to making sure we've chosen really hardy strains, we're also gonna store it very specifically in our facility in Megafood. We're gonna store all of these in the freezer before they ship out the door. So they're going out the door as cold as possible. And we've actually conducted several shipping studies to determine do, do these, did these really need a cold pack? Is that, is that going to benefit them? Are they going to be even more able to survive longer times with a cold pack? And what we actually found through this study that we worked with several labs on is there was no increase in survivability when it was shipped with a cold pack over short term. However, there was a huge impact on environmental sustainability when it came to our packaging footprint. So we made that choice to store it frozen in-house and ship it all today to make sure it's gonna get to the retailer and to you, the consumer, as quickly as possible. And that's why we have this handy sticker on here. So as soon as you get home or as soon as it arrives, you can pop it in the fridge and then you don't have to worry about it at all. But if you leave it out for a couple of hours, for a day or two, don't sweat the small stuff. We've done the hard work of making sure it's gonna be as you know hardy as possible. Absolutely. So another question question we get asked too is how many days is this going to be good outside of refrigeration? Ooh, it's a common question and I understand the, you know, desire to have a cut and dry one or two days outside refrigeration, three days, but it's not quite that simple. When it comes to probiotics, they're really sensitive to temperature. So that's really what we're paying attention to. If it's elevated, you know, ambient degree temperature, 60 degrees, something like that, the probiotics are going to degrade a lot more slowly than they would if they were out in the blazing sun at 100 degrees. So Giving a day, a time frame of how many days outside of refrigeration becomes tricky. We can't determine, you know, what temperatures it was exposed to during those times. So the biggest thing is just mitigating the high temperatures and getting it into the refrigerator just as soon as you can. Okay, thank you for explaining that.